Well, today is quite an exciting day. After 10 years of planning and preparations and meetings and fundraising, we're finally on the way to Sharpness Docks to see our ship. The tall ship Pelican of London was launched in 1948. She's a 45 meter long, steel hulled, three masted sailing ship. She's just returned from the Caribbean after months at sea. And she's in these dry docks, ready to get a lick of paint to begin the Darwin 200 voyage. Over two years, we're going to sail around the world following the route of HMS Beagle to retrace Charles Darwin's footsteps. By recreating the most important journey in the history of science, we intend to engage and inspire the global public. Darwin 200 aims to be a planetary conservation initiative. We want to change the world in which we live and build a brighter future for nature and the natural environment right the way around the globe. And we're gonna do that in three different ways. The first way, we want to find and select the world's top and brightest 18 to 25 year old conservationists and naturalists. 200 young people from countries and states right the way around the planet. These are people with raw passion and inspiring stories that have gone out there and made a change in the world in which they live. These young people that we call Darwin leaders are gonna come on board the ship in 50 ports where Charles Darwin made landfall. These Darwin leaders use this ship as a floating laboratory and media platform. Walking in Charles Darwin's footsteps and seeing the world through his eyes, they have to select a study subject which Darwin studied. They're gonna analyze those different species of animals and in virtually every single case, there's been a negative impact since Darwin was there. They have to look at the impact and the change that's taken place and put forward real solutions to help solve those problems. And most importantly, we want them to engage, inspire and communicate solutions to real conservation problems. The second way that we're gonna achieve these objectives is by creating the world's most exciting classroom. Every day of the worldwide voyage, we're gonna use this ship as a platform to beam out interactive resources to schools right the way across the globe, completely free of charge, so that kids from Papua New Guinea to Ethiopia to Canada to Brazil could all be part of this with no cost whatsoever. The third element of this project is undertaking professional research in real world conditions and broadcasting that live. We want to study real pollution problems and look at real environmental damage as we go across the entire globe and find solutions to that which all of us can contribute to. Join us on this ship. We want you to be part of this project every single day of our adventure and help Darwin 200 change the world for the better.